Hi, hello everybody. My name is Joanne and I'm from a company called Be Educated and we are a community interest company. And I have my five tips for parents homeschooling, now homeschooling children um, at home. So tip number one, so keep up a routine. This includes what time you wake up in the morning and parents and carers, you will have to rise with the children to set the example and to keep the momentum going. Um, as well as to set the school tasks for this for the day. So ensure the kids receive plenty of breaks in between lessons. And parents and carers, if wearing their school uniform helps to keep them focused and structured, let them wear it. But um, let that be the children's choice. You don't want to find yourself getting into a fight with children about wearing school uniform or how much work is done in the day. So... Tip number two, so to aid schoolwork, where possible, make the kids' downtime an educational one. So this will supplement the shortfall of the school day. Um, board games such as Scrabble are good for language and literacy, for example. Uh, tip number three, if you have an outdoor space, no matter the size, graveled grass or concrete, this is the time to use it. Um, if it requires a bit of an inexpensive makeover, Make it over, make it a project and get the kids cr creatively involved. Tip number four is all for you adults. Make sure that you're making time for yourself to keep your, your well-being maintained. And this could also be an opportunity for you to learn something new as well. Last tip number five, be especially understanding and gentle with yourselves and to the children. And this will um, aid your long-term your all of your long term mental well being. So I also have five top tips for adults that live alone. So tip number one, enjoy the peace and tranquility that being in isolation can offer and use the time positive positively um, to learn meditation to keep a journal or any other acti um, activity that suits solitude. Um, tip number two, it's good to talk. So make calling someone a feature of your day. Make multiple calls if you so wish. Um, this will enable you to feel connected. So this is a good time for you to go through your phone contacts and touch base with people, um, to download apps such as WhatsApp and enjoy local and international calls and video call-ins for free. Um, tip number three. Do not overload, but keep yourself updated with the current with current news and current events. Um, tip number four, routine your day as much as possible. This will help with your time management, but also allow for spontaneity if that lifts your mood as well. So the last tip is keeping in mind the rules of social distancing. Identify a neighbour if you can that could be a friend during this time so, it, so as to build on your nearby support. Um, also look out for leaflets that your neighbours may drop into your letterbox letting you know about local community support networks in your immediate area. So those are, are my um, five top tips for um, five for parents, homeschooling children and five for adults li li living alone in these times. So that's me for now. Stay safe. Bye.